Alright, what's up guys? MP10 here. Welcome back to yet another video. Happy Pi Day <laughs> for all you uh, nerds out there. Um, happy spring break officially for you high school kids. Or maybe you started spring break already. Um, welcome. Uh, a lot has gone down this week. A lot. So, originally it was going to be one video, but I was going to talk about it. Uh, nope. Interview with Donald Trump got taken down by YouTube. After it got 5.2 million views in the first 24 hours, uh, amazing. Um, obviously, you know, I, I don't get it. Like, you know, wherever you may feel about Donald Trump, what they did, they the fact that Nelk, Nelk got Donald Trump on their podcast is really, really huge. Um, I am impressed. Um, I don't really want to get my feelings about Trump, but that's crazy. And YouTube took it down, and it's ridiculous. It just goes to show how soft YouTube is. Like, this was a big accomplishment that a podcast group on YouTube got Donald Trump, got a former president of the United States on the, sh on the show. Can you need another podcast group that does it? Like, not. Like, maybe Joe Rogan, but, like, this is huge. Like, a group of YouTubers just got Donald Trump on their podcast, and... YouTube took it down. It goes to show how soft YouTube is. It just goes to show like the bias they have against them and the bias and like who they, whose ass they kiss. And it's just been a problem for YouTube. And I think YouTube, I'm gonna make a prediction in a couple weeks. Like I said this a month, months ago about YouTube. I think people are gonna get eventually done with YouTube. I think people are gonna start like retiring and leaving the platform because of what YouTube's gone down to. I mean, the stuff that's gone down, like, it took them a while to demonetize David Dobrik and James Charles when it should have been done right then and there. It took them a while. Like, that's really, that's really concerning that the fact that they, it took them that long to think, hmm, should we demonetize one of our favorite YouTubers? Like, they bring us money, but they're doing a skip. Like, they should have demonetized them immediately. And they didn't. And the fact that you got all these fucking shitty creators like Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star have done horrible, horrible things. They're still on there. And like, they're not removed off the platform. You got KSI who's got two strikes on his second channel. One more and he's off YouTube. It's ridiculous. What I'm going to say, there's literal murder and porn on YouTube. But anyway, that uh, video will never return. It'll never come back on YouTube that dealt with Donald Trump. Now interview with Donald Trump. Speaking of coming back, Tom Brady is not retired. He unretired. Uh, he took a 40-day break with his family. We all thought he retired. And then yesterday, you know, he decided, eh, I'm going to come back. <laughs> I was reading on Twitter. They were saying, like, Patrick Mahomes had, the, like, the worst Sunday ever. He got married to his wife, and now Tom Brady's back. Um, <laughs> I thought that was funny. I'm going to make a quick side note about the whole thing. Can y'all, like, just leave Patrick Mahomes and his wife alone and the family alone in general? Like, it's really weird that the fact that y'all care about him. Okay, yeah, you don't have to like the family, whatever, but he's in love, okay? He's in love. He's loved them for a long time. He knows her better, better than anyone, so y'all can just back off, okay? Regardless of what you think, you got to be happy for him. It's a big monumental moment in his life. Anyway, back to Tom Brady. He's back. My first reaction was, what the fuck? Like, I was shocked, but also not shocked. I was shocked because I really thought he was like retired, retired, because it's like, you know, and he deserved to retire after what he's done. I'm not shocked because, you know, I should have known from this post, I am putting down my cleats. He didn't say the word retire. He has yet to say that word. And hell, who knows? He probably may never retire, considering what he's done. And you know, this makes Tom happy. It does make whatever. Um, he's back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and they're definitely going to be Super Bowl favorites. But man, I know the everybody in the NFL was just screaming in pain, like, "No, we thought we had a chance to win the Super Bowl, and now this motherfucker is back, and he's going to come back with fire and vengeance," because. You know, when he decided, when he made his retirement post, everybody was like, oh, he's retired. Congrats, Tom. Congrats, Tom. Congrats on a phenomenal career. You had athletes all over the world 
NFL players, like, tell them congrats on a great career, Tom. We're going to miss you. And I guess that fueled this fire a little bit to where he's like, oh, they all think I'm done. Uh-uh. I'm going to come back one more year and show them why I'm not done and I'm never retiring. Vince, he's probably never going to retire. Like, he might have to, like, be play till 60. They might have to cart him off the field with a straitjacket. Um, as his dad said, but Tom Brady is back, man. Oh my goodness. All I know is that next season is going to be even legend. It's going to be even more crazy. You know, with Russell Wilson to the Broncos, with Bosa to the, you know, to the, I'm not Bosa, uh, Khalil Mack to the Chargers. All these moves you've got. Aaron Rodgers trying to want to run it back. Matt Stafford and the Rams trying to run it back. Like next year is going to be like so dope. Like it's going to be. I thought last season was wild. We all thought the last season was wild. This season's going to be even wild. Like I think you're going to have a lot of crazy shit, a lot of crazy games, a lot of high score games. I can't wait. I can't wait for next season. I already miss. I already miss football. Man, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on YouTube removing Nelk's podcast. And let me know if you're a football fan and a subscriber of mine, what you think of Tom Brady returning to the NFL. All right, this has been your boy, Buten, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.